Hello YouTube, Gbo Unit here again with another range report video. Um, this time I went and I wanted to take my uh, Ruger Mark III standard because the ammo is cheap and I like firing it. And I wanted to check out a uh, rental. Um, I wanted to try a Glock out. So anyway, just wanted to show this off. I am now a card carrying member of Iron Sights uh, Shooting Range in Oceanside, California. And um, this is kind of cool. What it does is, uh, if you're in Southern California and San Diego, oh my gosh, take advantage of this. Okay, you get one year from date of purchase, not calendar year. Um, you get unlimited range time and visits, and you get unlimited rentals. Okay, now the caveat with the rentals is that you've got to use their reloads, their ammunition, unless you've got factory box ammunition. So um, you can go ahead and you know bring in your own ammunition, but it's got to be uh, factory ammo. So anyway, um, I calculated that I only have to go to the range less than two times a month to pay for the entire membership. And unlike some ranges, um, where some t I guess there's time limits on some of them, I can spend four hours there and you know shoot away you know if I wanted. So anyway. That is uh, a great deal for me. So anyway, um, what I wanted to do was, uh, I didn't know that, I wanted to rent a Glock 19 or a 17 because I'm in the market for a 9mm as some of you already know. Um, I didn't have any 9mm ammunition. I didn't want to spend a whole lot on that. I didn't plan on it. I brought some of my own factory ammo uh, for 40 Um I just happened to have it, which was lucky. So then I was able to uh, rent a Glock Model 23, and I have pictures of that uh, later. Of course, I don't have it here. But what I do have here is my Ruger Mark III Standard. Uh, and um, I, I wanted to say that this is a fabulous gun to shoot. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and the ammo is cheap. Um, I also wanted to say thank you to... All the people who have commented on my Mark III Standard video series on the introduction, the disassembly, and the reassembly of this firearm. Uh, evidently, this firearm is a bit of an oddity. It's not like your normal gun where you can break it down and put it back together any old way you choose. There's, there's specific steps. And, um, and I guess that I covered all the steps very clearly for a lot of viewers. And... You know, I thank you for your comments. It, it really made me feel good to hear the comments or to read the comments of, of how much easier it was for them to disassemble their gun, to reassemble it, you know, that that they, they made a lot of uh, sense out of my video. So uh, thank you very much. All right, so um, I've got a couple of videos and some targets to show off. So we'll just get right to it, okay? All right. Okay, first shooting of the day with the Ruger Mark III Standard. This is with my right hand. Okay, same gun with left hand. Notice how tight the group is with my left hand. I think I'm left-handed. Okay, here it is. Second session with the right hand with the Ruger Mark III Standard. The groupings are a little better, but they're still kind of spread and sporadic. Okay, second session with the left hand with the Ruger Mark III Standard. Uh, the group is a little more spread than the first one, but they're still tighter than my right hand. Okay, the next two uh, target pictures, you'll see why I'm starting to believe I'm a left-handed shooter. But anyway, this is the right hand shot. And here's my left hand shot with about 20 rounds. Uh, look at the groupings. They're a lot tighter, okay? And uh, I think it's because maybe I have to hold it steadier because I am right eye dominant and I was shooting left handed. So you can imagine the angle your head has to take to uh, line up your sights. So maybe that's what it is. Okay, time to test out the Glock 23 in 40 caliber. Here's a picture of the pistol, just in case you do not know what it looks like. It is not the full-size frame, it is the medium-size frame. Remember, 
Uh, Glock comes, you know, basically, I know there's other variations, but basically they come in three sizes. The full size, the compact, and the subcompact. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I am using the compact, the Model 23. Here's a target with the first time firing the Glock 23. Look at the groupings and remember the groupings that I had with my Sig Pro 2340 and my Rock Island uh, 45. I think I'm in love. <laughs> Look at the groupings of this of this gun. I mean, they 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 weren't in the bottom right quadrant like I thought they would be. They're a little bit low because I was anticipating kick. Uh, you know, being that it's a shorter barrel, but wow. I was very, very impressed with this grouping. Okay, this is a pullback of the target you just saw with my fist as a size comparison. The upper left quadrant is the Ruger Mark III standard shot with my right hand, and the upper right quadrant is the same gun with my left hand, and of course the bullseye with the bigger holes is the Glock 23 shot with my right hand. Uh, the groupings are pretty decent, but I'll have you know that these were shot at 7 yards and not at 15 or 25 yards. And the reason for that is because I wanted to see how I would do in a firefight. Most police statistics show that these firefights occur at or within 20 feet. And since um, shooting ranges are marked off in yards, by adding 1 foot to the police statistic, you come up with 21 feet, hence 7 yards. Um, in the next video, I am shooting both of the pistols right-handed, so enjoy that video. Okay, a shooting video, a first, isn't that great? Hey, uh, the iPhone again is so awesome. I was able to set my iPhone up in my little stall and record myself shooting. Um, one of these days I'll figure out how to put the camera behind me and you know have that perspective. Maybe if I bring a friend that would probably help. But anyway, I uh, wanted to show this picture of the target after that shooting. And uh, I did pretty decent. Again, this is at seven yards. And um, I uh, was able to get a pretty good grouping. And uh, again, the, the, uh, the guns that you saw in the video uh, were the Ruger Mark III Standard, 40 shots, and the Glock tw uh, Model 23 and 40 caliber, 10 shots. So here again is a picture of that target. Okay, I wanted to do an experiment. I figured that since all my previous shots, I started with my right hand and then I went with my left hand, I wanted to go the opposite way because I thought maybe since I did it one after the other, uh, maybe after shooting right-handed, I settled down for the last set of shots with my left hand, thus I shot better. So I started with my left hand first, so here are the groupings for my left hand. And here's the grouping with my right hand. 
Well, I guess the experiment proved that I'm a better shot left-handed for some reason. So uh, the grouping is pretty tight. It's not too bad, but it's still more spread out than the left-hand grouping. So, oh, oh well. And here's my left-handed grouping with the Glock Model 23. Not too bad. Okay, hope you liked that last video. That was me going left-handed with the Ruger Mark III Standard and the Glock 23. Uh, this target is a partial result of that. Uh, I had already taken a bunch of shots at it and uh, decided to go left-handed and record myself shooting and this is a result. And what did I say earlier about my accuracy as a left-hander? That's right, that big hole developed because of this left-handed shooting. So I wonder Am I really right-handed or left-handed? But um, uh, I would like to have this type of grouping create that kind of hole at 10, 15, 20, 25 yards. Um, you know, this is at 7 yards again. And uh, at least I know in a firefight I'd be halfway decent. But I'd like to have a little bit more range. And, um, you know, I'll have a lot of fun trying to attain that goal. Okay, I wanted to end off the day using the Glock 23 and firing at the center target and trying to get as good a grouping as I could. So I went ahead and took a chance and pulled this out at 10 yards just to see how I do. And I'm pretty pleased with the result. And uh, again, it is funny that um, I did not have groupings in the bottom right quadrant. It was sporadically around the middle, which tells me that A, the gun is excellent, and B, uh, it is my trigger pull and my anticipated um, pulling down of the barrel, you know, anticipating the kick, the recoil. So anyway, this is the grouping, the final grouping for the Glock 23. Uh, good way to end off a day. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that video. And one more lesson of the day, something that drives me crazy. This is a magazine. This is not a clip. A magazine is inserted into the pistol. Okay? This is a clip. This silver thing right here, that is a clip. And of course, this is a clip holding the rounds for my Mosin Nagant 762x54R. So, there's your lesson again for the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.